Broadcasting worldwide to every nation, this is the Gospel America Television Network. Broadcasting to every nation on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and online at gospelamerica.net. The Gospel America Television Network is a worldwide streaming Christian television network based in our beautiful city of San Angelo. It's similar to TVN or Daystar. We produce local programs like Real Talk with the Jenkins that airs Saturday morning at 8 on Fox West Texas. We produce TV commercials for companies, corporations, and community organizations. Gospel America is dedicated to our community. Since our debut broadcast in August of 2018, we have donated video production and free airtime for the Chamber of Commerce, the San Angelo Police Department, the Alcohol Drug Abuse Council of the Concho Valley, better known as ADAC, the Food Bank of San Angelo, and many others. We continue to demonstrate our support because San Angelo is our home. You can watch us on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, and online at gospelamerica.net 24 hours a day. Download our app from the App Store or from Google Play to watch us on your smartphone or tablet. To watch on your TV at home, add us to your Roku, Apple, or Fire TV channel lineup. What's really amazing is that advertising on our network gives you an affordable and cost-effective way to reach your audience here in San Angelo, across the nation, or around the world. Not only are we a streaming broadcast network, but we are a complete production studio creating videos for companies like Angels Care Hospice, Shannon Healthcare, and Gray's Transmissions. So when you're ready for a corporate presentation video or to advertise, call the Gospel America Television Network at 203-410-6053. So one of the questions that I get as a leader in the church is, do I need to be baptized in order to make it into heaven? You know, and, um, and usually, normally, whenever somebody asks me this, it's because they bring up the thief on the cross. Yeah. You know, well, Pastor Danny, like, the, the thief wasn't baptized. You know, he didn't actually get on his knees and repent for what he did. You know, and so that question, it's, it's a, an a, a apologetics question. You know, um, and us as believers, we need to be able to answer this. Um, I, I kind of want to take us into Acts, um, and Pastor JJ, you can tell me exactly where this is at, but the, um, it's right after the day of Pentecost that everybody, all the disciples had just spoken in tongues, mm -hmm. and there's all people from all kinds of walks of life are there. Acts 2. And, and, and Peter is giving this awesome message of repentance, and he's, he's sharing the gospel to all these people, and the question says, what shall we do? What do we need to do? And he says, repent and be baptized, every single one of you. And so Peter is giving this message of repent and be baptized, but the thief didn't do that. Mm. So what is this? What is this? What do y'all think? It was situational. Like he wasn't. He didn't have an opportunity to be baptized. Like, even if they were to let him come off the cross, like who's gonna baptize him? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. But <clears throat> you still see the conversion. You see the conviction. He even tells the other the other thief like. Why are you mocking this man? He's here unjustly. We were paying the due penalty for our, our sins. So you see the fear of God fall upon him. You see the conversion. You see the conviction. And then Jesus himself says, look, you're going to be with me in paradise. Come on. But the obedience, we're to be obedient to what Christ says. And he says, be baptized. Go to church. Just because he wasn't able to do all that doesn't mean that we have the, ex the excuse to not do it. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and again, if, if that was, if that actually held any truth to it, that just because the thief didn't do it, well, look, yeah, the church in Acts wouldn't, look at everything they did. You know, they were baptizing people, they were 
teaching doctrine. They were getting theological understanding. They were biblical truth. Um, they were making disciples. They were being obedient to God. They were being obedient to the calling that Jesus uh, privileged them to, to continue <coughs> with the work of the church. And that is just a form of spiritual laziness. You know, you know it, it, it's, it's a cop-out, basically. Yeah. Well, the, he didn't do it, so we don't have to. It, it's two different situations. You're alive. Yeah. You're able to move freely. This, the, the thief on the cross was in his last moments. And, and yes, there, there's, there, there, there's moments like that where, where, where one can receive salvation. I, I've led people in their deathbed you know, yeah. to, to, to Christ at that moment. Mm -hmm. They don't have time to. They're about to die. Yeah. You know, and and but they acknowledge the Savior that he came and died for our sins. You know, the basic message of the gospel. And that's the thing was that, that that's that's the biggest thing that, that the thief acknowledged who Jesus was only because he was in his last moments. Of course, he didn't have time to be baptized. Yeah. That doesn't give us the right. Oh, well, he didn't do it. So yeah. we don't have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, go, go ahead. ahead. Go around, go, no, go. You well, what I was going to point out is the mercy yeah. that's displayed mm -hmm. there. You know, the, the mercy that the Lord offers to his children, that even in those moments of, of where you know that, that you're about to leave this world, so to speak, and, and for you to be able to repent and still, you know, some people grew up in the church, been in the church for like years, their whole life, serving the Lord, thank God. Mm -hmm. And then there's some people that in their final moments, yeah. they ask the Lord, like, forgive me, God. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, I, I have sinned against you. And Lord, I, 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 like, please forgive me. I repent, you know. And 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 some people have actually have told me, and I've even like been uh, one of those people that say like, that's not right. Like, how are how if I've been serving the Lord all my life, and then you now are barely like, and you're gonna make it into heaven? And that's just the mercy and the love of God. Well, it's, it's the parable of the laborers, you know. That's that's a story we're all familiar with. Uh -huh. mm. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> but I think you also see the greater mercy of Jesus that even like when he's going through that pain and agony he still had someone else's salvation on his mind and he could have easily been like nah bro you were just making fun of me like, yeah. Yeah. but he didn't so from the time he entered ministry to <coughs> his last moments in ministry he was saving sinners I think the thief on the cross also acknowledged that he, when he looked at Christ he, he, he was ashamed he saw his own sin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so um, I think there was some true uh he repented. Yeah, I mean that was that was that was that was true talk that he was having between Christ and and, and himself. So um, thank God he had a dying moment. But I wouldn't bet I wouldn't want to roll a roll a dice on my life that I'm gonna get a dying moment. Yeah. Because I mean your life could end. Any one of us, Lord, please don't let it happen. But any one of us could be in an accident, and that be the last time you see any of us. So yeah. don't leave it up to chance yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And, and I think that's what a lot of people think. <laughs> well, I, you know, oh, I'll just wait, you know, when I get real sick or da-da-da, and then I'll give my life to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says, seek me while you still can. Because promises, um, tomorrow isn't promised to any of us, as Brother yeah. Robert mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the, the, the thief at that moment was at a point where he realized who this man next to him was, and he acknowledged his very own faults because he even told me, this guy, he's done nothing. Yeah. We're up here. You know, well, we, go ahead. And, and, and uh, let's go into that real quick. Uh, so Brother Ernest, that's off camera right now, uh, he didn't have a chance to repent. For those of y'all that know that Brother Ernest, he, uh, he had fell ill out of nowhere, and he, didn't, and he wasn't able to repent. He wasn't able to. Um, he had a tube in his throat, and he, he died for nine minutes, flatlined. And we prayed, and the Lord lifted him up, resurrected him. And now he's actually behind the camera right now. But the thing is, is that why take that chance? Like, why take that chance to be like, you know what? I, like, I'm not ready yet. That's like the number one thing. Like, when we do outreach and when we, we're sharing the gospel, that's like the number one thing that everybody says. Oh, well, I'm not ready yeah. yet. Like, they, they think, I guess they think that the church is like for old folks <coughs> or something. You know, like, from when you're in your final days, you've already lived your life. But the thing is, is that... What if you end up like Ernest, out of nowhere, like you end up in the hospital, like out of nowhere, you, you didn't, you don't know, you know, like we can leave here today, we always say this, we can leave here today and then be hit like in the highway, like in a car accident, and are you ready though? Yeah. yeah. Yep, and, and he's one of those who'll testify, you don't have a chance, yeah. I mean, it, it hit him fast, yeah. 
he said next, I mean, he just, he's getting rushed to the ER, he wakes up two, three months later. Yeah. So, so that's something you got to think about, you know. And, and I believe that the thief on the cross was in, at that moment, he had a chance, you know. I, I believe you're the son of God. I, I believe you're up here unrighteous. We deserve what we, what we're up here for, but not you. No. Yeah. And so he was acknowledging the wrongs that he had did. And, and, and just because he didn't have an opportunity to, to memorize scripture, get baptized, uh, walk in obedience, does not give a, that's not a, a, an open door for us to, well, you know what, well, he didn't have to, so we don't have to. And, and I think, and I see that a lot in Facebook, and, and I don't know the angle, but when I see something like that, uh, that's usually the first thing that comes to mind. What, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say because this per the thief didn't do all this that we don't have to? Because if that's the angle... Then, then, then these people are wrong because look what Acts did. Yeah. Look what the church was doing. If that was really the, the, the truth, then, 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 then the first century church wouldn't be making disciples. They wouldn't be in the temples every day. Right. You know, they wouldn't be assembling every day at that. Uh, they wouldn't be teaching uh, doctrine, making disciples, teaching the word of God, teaching the gospel, uh, re bring, gathering the nations back to God. None of that would have happened. But we're alive and well. We should be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I bring up one note? One thing okay. with the thief on the cross is that he had to have known yeah. growing up. There's this knowledge of there's a God. So either you can believe in him or you can believe in the other gods. There was no this way we live now where I, I just run around and say I don't believe there's a God at all. Yeah. So I think that actually helped him acknowledge by seeing Christ on that cross. He knew who. He knew who he was looking at and who he was next to, and he knew that he had never done anything wrong. Um, that's something that we all need to remember. Yeah, he had to have some, I agree, he had to have some kind of understanding. I mean, everyone, as soon as Christ gave up his last breath, and I everyone think it was the way he handled the situation, too. Like right from the beginning, he said, Father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. like he's the son of God. He could have been calling down for lightning bolts or legion of angels but he just handled the whole situation with mercy yeah so i think that's what started opening his eyes up amen yeah. amen